trying to observe to see about how, you know, how can you protect your family, how can you get them in and out, and you realize there's nothing you can do. There's too many people. Everyone's out of control. Because even at one point, I mean, we're out there for three hours. My wife is holding my son, trying to keep him warm as we wait for the flu underneath the, the the little bus station bench. Kids start jumping on there. You start hearing a crack. You don't know if it's ice or the thing's breaking. So she's holding my kid in there. I'm looking up at the kid like, yo, what's up? I got I got a kid out there. I got a kid under here, yo. And he looked at me. He looked at my wife and my kid. He looked at the other five people standing on the bus stop and said, yeah, they should probably move. <laughs> That's it. You're probably right. Just thought on my head, yeah, probably right. Come on, baby, get up. Get up, get out of the kids' way. Let them have it. They win. But all in all, everybody was cool. We all had a good time. Got kind of cold, so we rolled out. But, man, it was crazy to see. As a fan of the Eagles, it was just great to see so many people out there that love the team. And to hear those speeches with Kelsey, he said, Lane Johnson can't lay off the juice. That's just hilarious. Because you're basically telling everybody that he's on steroids. And he's addicted to it. And he got a better doctor because he obviously didn't get caught this year. Because I'm pretty sure if your teammate is yelling drunk in a Green Goblin costume that you can't lay off the juice, he's probably telling the truth. They all what they what was the uh, what do they say the phrase a uh, uh, drunk mind speaks a sober heart, which I don't believe at all. I had that conversation with my uncle this weekend. He thinks when you're drunk, you tell the truth. I said, man, you know what I mean? People I told, I mean, women I told I loved, I loved them too when I was drunk. And if you listen out there, women, please don't be offended. I was drunk. But, you know, sometimes you just love people when you're drunk. And you wake up and you think, I've made a grave mistake. I've made a grave mistake. But, you know. I thought it was a overall a, a, a very good event. It was. I think they tried to schedule originally for Wednesday, but the weather wasn't going to hold up, and I was kind of mad because we had to drive back on Thursday night. But I'm glad they did change it because the weather was pretty bad all Wednesday. So that's my Eagles wrap up. I'm not going to inundate you with all types of Eagles stuff. I don't know a lot of you out there are haters of the champs because you're going to have to come at the throne, baby. Number one out there. So, again, for all you lovely listeners out there, if you want to call in, if you are at the parade, or if you want to talk about anything else, sports, phone number called 929-477-3975. Again, that is 929-477-3975. You can catch the playback on Billionaire Brown's podcast. Let me know what you think. Different other things talking about that I want to speak about tonight. You got the Olympics starting up. And I'm always confused about the Winter Olympics. Because they're like the they're like the little stepbrother of the Summer Olympics. Like, honestly, no one gives a shit about the Winter Olympics. It's a waste of money. They got fireworks going. North Korea and South Korea is getting along. You mean to tell me they've been fighting all this long and all it takes is one Winter Olympics in South Korea and now everybody cool? Part of me enjoys mayhem. So I'm kind of watching in hopes that King Jong-un walks down and just says, South Korea, you're mine now, and wondering what happens with that. Because I feel like he could take over South Korea right now and just everybody will kind of just let him go because they think he has nuclear weapons, which I'm, which I'm still confused on. The whole nuclear weapon thing in North Korea confused me. Because if he's that bad of a person, he sure is walking around South Korea without a problem. But I do enjoy watching different sports of the Winter Olympics. They're just not important. I don't understand figure skating, just like I don't understand the Grammys. No one talk about the Grammys. Never got a chance to talk about that. I don't understand how people can judge subjective things objectively. 
Now, this could be a form of ignorance to me because I just don't understand what I'm watching. I'm sorry right now, I'm watching. I don't want to be racist, but hey, I'll just say Asian people. Could be South Korea, could be North Korea, could be Japan, could be China. Not sure, but they're all breakdancing in Wu-Tang. I think it's Wu-Tang. I don't have to sign up, but that's pretty cool, you know. How could, how, when did Asians get so good at breakdancing? Is it because they're nimble? Is it because they're tiny? Like, are all Asians the best gymnasts because they're nimble and tiny? Like, I mean, as a black, as a proud black man, I'm proud of the accomplishments that black people have have made in these lives and in this world. I wish we could have monetized them more uh, to just better our community. But man, yo, didn't we start breakdancing? And the the what you call them? The Jabberwockies, man. They ran with it, be. They took our. They took a. Uh, they took both breakdancing to a whole new level, man. Asians got it, man. They took Wu Tang and they took breakdancing. They won. They King John Undis show. But they're very entertaining, very nimble, very tiny. But you know, I, I want to get into stereotypes one day. But how do you never see, like, because you can see fat black people breakdancing. You never see fat Chinese people breakdancing. They're all just considered sumo wrestlers. And why aren't there any black sumo wrestlers? we got Asian basketball players. we got Asian football players. Patrick Chung, I mean, a name like Chung, he's something Asian, right? That could be my ignorance, too, but I believe he is Asian. Are there not any black samurais? I mean, not samurais, black uh, sumo wrestlers. I'm sorry. Oh, sumo wrestlers. DJC Cyrus back there telling me that sumo wrestlers, sumo wrestlers are Japanese, but I mean, come on now, it's 2018. Haven't we... Uh, Cross all those color boundaries. It's like, well, I can't be a sumo wrestler because I wasn't born in Japan. Bruce Lee could teach karate in San Francisco. Why can't I be a samurai wrestler in Japan? Just because I'm black. Sumo wrestler. Was it samurai wrestling? If Tom Cruise could be a samurai, I could be a sumo wrestler. I already got the belly for it. All I need is a cummerbund. I got a do rag. I mean, they wear a bandana, same thing. But the Winter Olympics looks like it's going to be, well, the opening ceremony looks like a big waste of money, but it looks entertaining. I mean, because honestly, all these ceremonies is nothing but screens, fire, and fireworks. Where, I mean, Asian people got silky hair, man. We've seen what happened to Michael Jackson and Pepsi. I don't want any mistakes. There's a lot of fire and fireworks going around. Hope everyone's safe out there in South Korea. Hope y'all enjoying the winter. It's a lot of fire for the winter. But you would think that you wouldn't see fire for the winter. You would think you'd see more ice sculptures. But hey, whatever you gotta do to get the crowd happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if South Korea they communists. Do they not have the internet? It's good that they get fireworks. I hope they're safe out there. Looks entertaining. I would definitely like to go, but I wouldn't understand most of sports. I mean, we got curling coming back. We got speed skating, which is always entertaining. The slopes are entertaining. I tried to the X Games stuff, I don't really get into. I don't know if that's part of the Olympics yet. But uh, I try watching some of the things. pretty exciting. But I do like the little ski slopes. And the little... Uh, the little bunny joints that was on the other day where they keep going around all them bumps and doing them flips, that seems pretty entertaining. But the figure skating, I just can't get into it. I don't know if they're dancing, if they're doing gymnastics. I don't know, like, so it seems like they're doing ballet on razor blades on ice. Cool. Like if one of these, if one of these Korean hip-hop dancers started doing it, Break dancing on, on on razor blades, do they get good points? I don't know. I just can't tell. I, I find this dancing more entertaining than figure skating. But you know, but hopefully the one Olympics goes off without anything going going bad and unites people, I guess. But hopefully we have some good sports and good entertainment, some good stories that come out. 
Only thing that bothers me about these stories as an athlete, oh man, they pop like any shit. And I and I talk to my wife about this. It's the same thing I find wrong with um, Ninja Warrior. All these athletic NBC, MSNBC, Fox, all these shows, the Olympics. Like, why does everybody who competes have to have cancer, or somebody that dies of cancer? Like, why does it have to be a sad story with every athlete out there? It doesn't make sense to me. It honestly pisses me off. Because where is the athlete, where is the T.O. athlete? Where is the athlete that just says, you know, Tommy Hilfiger dresses us real nice every four years, so I'm trying to get some free gear, I'm trying to holler at the chicks and get me a gold medal. Why does everybody have to have a sad story? And I'm not complaining about the sad story because some of these things are really emotional and very true. They they allow people to to overcome obstacles and, and giving them reason to drive to become great athletes. So I'm not mad at the sad story. But, but when everybody has a sad story, you become numb to it. So... Tiger Woods, old girl. Her story this year is going to be about overcoming her injury. I get that. We saw her injury. We saw when she tore her knee up. I get that. But you're going to have at least, and I would count it, but I'm not trying to be that ignorant, but you're going to have at least 20 cancer stories. Everybody got cancer, be it sucks. We all know cancer sucks. I ain't trying to make light of it. But you start to become numb to it. Same thing with American Ninja Warrior. You watch these stories, and they're trying to make you cry. Why are you trying to make me cry in my house by myself? I don't like you for that. Stop trying to make me cry. My tears are for me. They're not for you. You can't have my tears, America. I want my tears for me, and you will not see me cry. You will not allow me to to cry in my house and cry my own tears. I'm going to cry because I want to not because you want me to, with your sad violin music behind some kid who, you know, oh, snap, somebody just ran on the Olympics. See? It's pretty crazy. Look, they got him out of there, though. He ran into the middle of the show while somebody was doing, oh, man, yo, he got the beats on, he got the Dre beats on, so you can't get black Chinese people known. You see what happened when, black, when Chinese people got hip-hop? He got the Dre beats on, ran on. To, how did he not fall? Oh, he he photobombed the old dude, too. Oh, that's foul. At least he gave him a hug. He's got some air muscles. Yeah, you know, they let him walk around for a minute, you know. He's a terrible streaker. Pause. He got all of his clothes on. He got Dre beats on. He got mittens in his, not mittens, but ear muscles in his hand. Why you got ear muscles if you got Dre beats on? And... I mean, if you're going to streak, be butt naked. I understand it's the Winter Olympics. I don't want to see a man run around naked. But if you're going to be on this stage and streak, interrupt the opening ceremony, be butt naked, make a name for yourself. We're going to blur it out anyway. Thank goodness. But, you know, so that's the Olympics I'll be watching all week to see how it goes. I do want to touch on this Mike Tirico not being black thing, but I'm not trying to even get all that. Serious tonight. We will touch on the government shutdown next week. But I definitely hope the Olympics is good this year. I hope we see some good athletes do some good things. Hopefully we can tone down the cancer stories. Donate the cancer research. Let's help the cancer folks out. But let's just have a good mixture of just some athletes that just want to be good athletes. It's okay that they just want to be good athletes. Like it's a, like there's nothing wrong with that story either. There's nothing saying there's nothing wrong saying, Hey, I grew up and I saw Asian people doing hip hop dance at the Winter Olympics and I wanted to go. So I worked really hard. That's okay too. Yo, Ralph Lauren does a great job dressing up the USA Olympics. I'm kinda of worried about the gloves. The gloves look a little look a little wild. But I wouldn't want a pair, but they look a little wild. But Ralph Lauren, man, 
he's, he's, he's sharp with his stuff, man. USA looks always looks sharp. 